hi welcome back to rebecca's travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to rebecca's lifestyle hi i hope everybody is um, as well as possible and um, it's been uh, raining outside today very cloudy um well quite cold to, uh, today in northwest leicestershire in the midlands and um, hi if you're new here to my channel my name's uh, Rebecca and I love talking about travel and lifestyle I upload five times a week on my bo uh, both my travel and my lifestyle channel and I love talking about travel and uh, lifestyle please subscribe I'd be extremely grateful and, and thank you for doing that and um, so today um, I'm going to be doing a vlog on a budget travel special, 10 Exciting Facts October 2022 by Budget Traveller. Um, nine of the best uh, value um, holidays from the UK um, is uh, included. Also, um, uh, some uh, special um tips um for traveling if you are traveling by ferry to another part of the uk or another country um so i'm going to jump right into it and um, with number one and um, have a, a flexible ticket if your travel plans are uncertain then booking a grand a great value a flexible ticket is the best option you can change your travel plans at short notice at no extra cost which is really good um especially if your travel is uncertain and uh, number two um, if you book in advance to get the best uh, value uh, tickets always uh, book in advance this um, is also so important and um, if you are traveling uh, during peak season uh, when you have uh, fixed travel dates um, or uh, when special events are on and um festivals um and uh, that hikes up the price um of tra uh, travel but if you book in advance and it is cheaper and you can uh, save money um again whether you're traveling um uh, by car co um coach um um taking a ferry or aeroplane um no matter what you're doing if you book in advance and you can save money um also it also applies to the same above um travel off peak uh, and um in the shoulder season to get the best deals uh, you will also have the best chance of cabins if applicable and sail saving time sailing times if you're uh, traveling by ferry opt for traveling midweek over weekends and daytime ra rather than overnight crossings um, because it is cheaper and obviously if you are having an overnight uh, cro uh, crossing then uh, you'll need to pay for, obviously for a cabin but it really depends how long a journey you're traveling by f at ferry um uh, number four luggage and um, included as standard nb though some services charge for bike racks and roof racks based on vehicle dimension and um some services such as uh crossings uh, to the aisles of siskele um just off the coast of cornwall as um charge uh, for transporting bulky items including surf 
equipment um, such as surfboards and kayaks um, again you can get the pricing um, a link on budgettraveler.org arc um so there's a link off that and number five you can save um on your uh, shopping um if you shop on a ferry and i've done this before um and uh, you can save with duty free shopping uh, which um, again includes like perfumes, say makeup, wine, spirits, say handbags or uh, maybe some souvenirs. Um, then you can, uh, there's lots of things uh, that you can save um, with duty free shopping. And I've done that when I've uh, taken a, um, a ferry um, abroad. And uh, number six, book ferry tra um, travel and attraction tickets to make um, your um, holiday uh, go f uh, further so we, if you book in advance for ferry and attractions then again your more money will go further in my opinion the more you book in advance um, basically uh, the more uh, you'll save Um, number seven, um, travel with pets, stress-free. Um, some services have pet-friendly cabins on board kennels and pet lounges. Again, check that with the ferry company before you book. Um, and uh, number eight, um, upgrade your experience um, with many services offer first class lounges um but you will have to pay extra for uh, for these and um, a la carte restaurants ki kids play areas and um even night cl uh, clubs or at least um the first class lounges or the a la carte restaurants should have to pay extra for so again check that um a bit uh, before you book um and Brittany ferries um also offer um on board spa on selected services um so again check that with the individual ferry line and and company and number nine top nine best value um ferry holidays from the uk and um, the isle of Wight under 20 pounds return wow that's really good and uh, number two um pleasure island uh visit uh, the isle of man from just uh, 21 pound 50 return number three a uh, day trip to the Isles of Siskeley from £35 return. Number four, travel from the Tate to Tate uh, for £7.30 with Uber Ferry by the Thames Clippers. Uh, number five, visit the Tate Gallery, Tate Britain and Tate Modern. There's a link on budgettraveller.org. Number six, uh, ferry uh, to Holland from £56 return. And number seven, Amsterdam, uh, one hour. A welcome drinks also included for as little as uh, £23.50. Um, and at number eight, short breaks at uh, uh, from Pauline Dorset to Guernsey for as little as uh, £70 per person on the Condor ferries. Um, also, uh, number nine, a trip to France return fares from just £45. So, again, there's some extremely good um, value ferries. My last fact, um, again... Um, comes from the same website and it's number 10 uh, 
sail from uh, sail to the Isle, Isle of Arran from just £12 per person with Caledonia Mac Brian Ferries. So that's a really good value as well if you're looking to go to a Scottish island. So um, I would like to say thank you for watching and um, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, and I would like to say thank you and bye for now. Thank you. Bye.